Hello everybody, I just want to welcome you back to our assembly this week. Hopefully you enjoyed our opening credits. If the reference was lost on you, well, I can only but apologise. I want to just address before we move on my eyes. As you can see, there is still some makeup on my eyes. I probably need to put a bit of forward thinking next week into if there are any segments which require me to wear eye makeup, I should probably fill in those first. Now, as we do every week, we're going to start with our prayer. Now, as you know, I take all your criticism on board, um, take it very seriously and sometimes take it very personally. I spent many a night crying myself to sleep. Last week, after our assembly, we had a comment which only gave the assembly 4 out of 10, said it needed more baked beans. So we took that criticism on board and you can have a little watch of this. Welcome to a special teacher's edition of the Baked Beans Off. This week our teachers have been set a very simple brief, beans on toast. Come on over to the tent and we'll see how they've been getting on. Well here we are in the tent, here's Mrs Bailey's effort, lovely little house. Next up we've got Mr Grimes who has presented to us Pac-Man, chasing all those little beans. Mrs Lancaro, returning teacher, showing us that maths can be edible as well as fun. And lastly Mrs Fitzpatrick with her take on the Mona Lisa. There are your options, see how you think. Well guys, there you have it, some very excellent looking dishes from our teachers. It's up to you to decide who wins and we'll see you next time. You're going to have the opportunity to vote for the teacher who you think created the best beans on toast. That will be on Microsoft Teams and we'll leave the vote open for a day or two and then we'll announce the winners next week. Now the transition from learning in school to learning online has at times been quite difficult for all of us. I know I find it quite difficult telling my jokes to a three-year-old as opposed to telling them to my lower sixth class. The response is generally the same in that there is no laughter but sometimes I miss it. But what we've done is we've created a little survey for everybody from year 8 to year 11 
And what we need you to do, if you've not yet filled it in, can you go onto Microsoft Teams and fill it in as soon as possible? And that will hopefully help us to find ways that we can improve how we deliver classes, improve how we communicate with you, and generally just make the whole system a little bit smoother. Now, every week I set myself a challenge. In the time it takes me to wash my hands, what can I do? How many of these can I do? This week is no different. So take it away for the hand washing challenge. we've been giving you ideas for things that you can do during the lockdown. We looked at gardening, we looked at exercise, and last week we looked at cooking. Is that me now? No, not yet. And this week we're going to get a little bit creative. Do you need me now? Wait. It's stuff to do. This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art attack. And welcome to another episode of Stuff To Do. We are live in my dining room for the art edition. First thing I want to do is just address my hair. There's a bit of a fad going around for men to get their head shaved, get their hair cut, because it's so awful to go a few weeks without their hair being cut. I've gone the opposite direction, and I'm currently aiming to try and grow some sort of a ponytail. Now, hopefully you've got your pen and your paper ready, and I'm going to start with a little bit of a drawing demonstration, so let's get right into it. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to draw is a seminal piece of art. Three vertical lines, three more vertical lines underneath. You're going to join two diagonals and another two diagonals. Join the middle ones, finish it off, and there is the cool S. It's important as an artist that you finish it off with your signature, and this piece of art will get you through life. If you're lucky to have some sort of space outside, maybe you've got a garden or you've got a driveway, the next thing could be for you. this week with some art from our junior school. They were asked to create a piece of art celebrating our key workers, celebrating the NHS. So have a look at this. That's our assembly almost finished. Just before we go, I want to give a little shout out to our fifth years and our upper sixths. This is normally the time of year where you'll be getting ready to finish up. For our fifth years, most of you will be back with us next year. Some of you are moving on to other things and those people, I personally just want to wish them luck. For our upper six, this is normally when you'll be celebrating, saying goodbye to each other, having your leaving mass. Probably quite difficult for you at this time, but we promise that when things go back to normal, we will help you do that the best way possible. I've still got my shirt that I got signed whenever I was leaving school. If you look closely, you can see one of my favorite maths teachers signed it. Um, so all those things that you're missing out on, we'll do our best to help you achieve them. 
Um, that's us finished our assembly this week, and I will see you again next week. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgine, gaudete.